Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back. I'm John. I'm Brett. And today we're going to talk about networking. We're going to go over the differences between NEMA 2000 and Ethernet. Stay tuned. All right, guys, so we're going to start off with some common questions that we see here. A lot of questions about what's the difference between Ethernet and NEMA 2000, what shares what information. So we're going to dive into that today. First, we're going to start with Ethernet. And Ethernet is going to um, share information like our 2D sonar, our down imaging sonar, and our side scan. Some extras that we can add on to that are going to be, say, Active Target for Lowrance, uh, Mega Live for Hummingbird, uh, LiveScope for Garmin. So that information can also be shared uh, through your Ethernet. Now, that's not the only thing that it's going to share. So we can also, on all the units, we can do map cards in units. So besides Hummingbird with the Helix line, we can put a map chip in, say, your console unit, and through Ethernet, that information would share to your front unit, or if you're running two or three graphs, they're all Etherneted together, that map card will share over to the other units. Um, yeah, so Humminbird being the exception there with the Helix lineup, um, you do have the ability to share a map card between units on the Solix and the Apex. So if your unit is Ethernet, capable, uh, it'll share that map card except for the helixes. Um, when we're talking about mapping, also we're going to be sharing waypoints through mm -hmm. Ethernet as well. Yep. So that's something that you will share even on the helixes. They'll still share waypoints. They just won't share the, the card. Yeah. And we've got we've got three cables laid out here and, and just kind of showing you the difference between that's Garmin's Ethernet cables. Um, common ones that links that they come in is six foot and 20 foot. Um, Lowrance here, you're going to have some different options. You've got 6 foot, 15, 25, and then you can go up to 50. And then this is what uh, our Hummingbird uh, Ethernet cables are going to look like. And they've got 5, 10, 15, and 20. Uh, of course, they do have some, some longer ones, but those are the most commons. And of course, with Helix, we can't forget our dongle because we're going to have to attach these to the end to make our ethernet cable work. So just some quick things with, with ethernet and what they're gonna share between, between your units, whether you're Garmin, Lowrance, or Humminbird. Yeah, and then also going back to the Humminbird uh, setup, it's also going to be what shares your trolling motor controls. Uh, if you're running everything through your Humminbird ethernet network, your five port switch, um, you're gonna be able to see your uh, like spot lock and all of your steering controls and everything from your trolling motor on your screen. That information is going to be shared through uh, through Ethernet. You're also going to be able to source your your GPS information on on Humminbird, specifically on the Helixes, through Ethernet as well. So that's something that is a little bit different. Um, if you look at the other brands like Lowrance and and Garmin, a lot of that stuff's going to be through NEMA. Um, but on Humminbird, you are going to be sharing Ethernet, uh, sharing your trolling motor controls through Ethernet as well. And, we, and we've talked about just Etherneting, say, two units uh, there. You know, each one of these brands have a, a, a port expander, uh, what they call. Uh, Garmin's is going to be the GMS-10. NEP is Lowrance. And then the five port network switch uh, for Hummingbird. That's going to be for units where, where we only have, say, one Ethernet connection on the back of one and we're doing multiple units. Um, so each, each brand has a port expander so we can hook up all the units, no matter if you're running uh, a unit that's got one port on it or the bigger units that have two ports. So those are some other options there. Yeah, so if you're looking to share information between multiple units on your boat, that is definitely something you want to take into consideration if you're trying to compile a, a list of things to purchase. 
see how many Ethernet ports you have on the back of the unit. And if you have two Ethernet ports, you can just daisy chain them together. Uh, if you've only got one and you're, and you're Etherneting multiple units together, then you're going to need one of those boxes. So, uh, and we did a video on that. That was a little more in depth. So you check that one out too. So yep. kind of walk you through those steps. Um, and then the last thing that we haven't mentioned yet is radar. Radar is going to share through Ethernet as well. Uh, so if you're looking to add a radar to your marine network, that is going to be through Ethernet. I believe between all of the brands. So then we got uh, the other networking option is NEMA 2000. So NEMA 2000, uh, again, we did a video on that in depth of the, the T connectors and what they call the backbone. But information that's gonna share through NEMA 2000 is like your GPS pucks. So um, Garmin's got a GPS puck, that's gonna be NEMA 2000. Lowrance has the point one GPS puck, again, um, through NEMA 2000. Uh, we can do engine data, engine data, whether it's Mercury, Yamaha, uh, you Suzuki. Can, Suzuki, you can go through NEMA 2000. One thing on the Laurent side is NEMA 2000 is how, if you've got a ghost troller motor and yep. units, uh, HDS Lives, Pros, Carbons, that's how that information is going to transfer to your units so that you can control the ghost from your unit. So mm -hmm. a little bit different there or something extra for Lowrance with that NEMA 2000, but that's something extra you can add there. Yeah, so the Humminbird, in order to get those trolling motor controls, that was Ethernet, but on Lowrance, it's gonna be NEMA 2000. So um, the other thing on the NEMA 2000, so you're gonna be able to share like your Steadicast heading sensor between multiple units in the NEMA 2000 network, you know, your 24 XDs, your point ones. So you're adding these external antennas or, or heading sensors, and you can share those devices through the NEMA 2000 network. Um, I've had people ask if you have NEMA 2000 ran up to a unit and that unit is networked via ethernet to another mm -hmm. graph on the boat, will it share? The answer is no. Uh, it will only share through that NEMA 2000 network. So if you want that unit to receive the information from another one, it has to be a part of that NEMA 2000 network. So again, we have done an in-depth video on NEMA 2000. If you're trying to put that together, go watch that video because you're going to need to uh, get some information there to make it all connect. Yeah, and, and kind of a way to think about it is NEMA is external devices. So things that we're adding on to the boat, that's not internal to the units. Mm -hmm. So when you think about Ethernet, we're talking about things that are coming from the unit that we're transferring that data or information. So map yeah. cards, sonar, that stuff. NEMA 2000, going to be external things. Pucks, troller motors, anything of that nature, that's going to be kind of your difference there between NEMA 2000 and, and Ethernet. Yeah, one we didn't mention was stereo systems. Mm. If, you, if you have a stereo system on board, a lot of the times you're going to be able to actually pull over the controls onto your graph and be able to, you know, change the station, adjust the volume, all that stuff right from your graph. And you've got those options, whether you're running Garmin, Lowrance, or Humminbird. Yep. Okay, guys, so that's, uh, that's our information today on the Ethernet and NEMA 2000. If you have any questions, give us a call, 316-313-4113, or shoot us an email at sales at russellmarineproducts.com. Hope you enjoyed it. We'll see you next time. See you. Are you tired of your old marine electronics? At r we make trade-in easy. Three steps. Step one, shoot us an email, get a quote. Step two, send us your old unit and get credit. Step three, Get your brand new unit and get it installed on your boat today.